Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Uh, this weekend you find us in rural Somerset. We have come away for a long weekend break uh, and we are staying in a glamping yurt in rural Somerset. So our yurt is located in the grounds of Kimber's Farm Shop just down the road from Bruton in Somerset. And we are here for three nights, four days. And what wouldn't be a weekend away with a park run? That's right, we are adding to our park run tourism videos and today we are attending Henstrad Airfield Park Run. Uh, and obviously we're bringing you along with us for the experience. But before that, let's have a quick check around at the yurt and we can show you what amazing facilities we have here um, and what we are calling home for the next three nights, four days. <laughs> So welcome to our yurt. And I have to say, I've never yurted before, but it's we stayed here last night already. So we, we got here at about five o'clock, uh, uh, went did a bit of shopping and unpacked, had a barbecue straight away, got some food and early night just to recoup on our sleep. And I have to say, it's just really comfy. It's really, really comfy. So we've got, first off to, to tell you about, we've got this lovely king size double bed, which is uh, super, Super, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh man. That is probably one of the most comfiest beds I've ever stayed in. It beats any hotel that I've ever stayed in, to be honest. And I had an amazing night's sleep last night. Uh, nine hours, fully refreshed. All I heard was the sounds of the sheep, the geese. Uh, pff, amazing, I have to say, super, super comfy. Uh, we've also got this uh, and a sofa, sofa bed here, which uh, I haven't used yet, but sofa to relax on. If you want to do some relaxing inside and don't want to lie on the bed. And I have to say, yeah, comfy. It's nice. So that's like a, a double sofa if you want to just sit here and read or we bought our computers. Yeah, we, we still are geeking it up a little bit, but super comfy. Enough for three or four people to sit on there quite easily. You've got... Uh, table, well, a couple of tables there. We bought some games with us as well, so a couple of tables where we can sit down and uh, and have a drink or eat or play a game. And probably one of the best things is we have our own fire pit. Probably better if I turn the camera around for you to see this. So, uh, yeah, we've got a wood burning gas stove, which is centre of the room. Um, and the good thing is Naomi. Um, Kimber, who is the owner, provides wood for you, ready for when you get here. So if it's a little bit chilly on your on your stay, you can just stoke up the fire straight away, shut the door, and you've got a lovely piping hot year for when you come to bed. So what you also get, which is a little bit unexpected, but definitely welcomed, is your own facilities. So when I say facilities, what does that mean? Well, you don't have to go and crap in the middle of a bush somewhere or run 200 metres to go to a toilet block. You've actually got your own fully serviced toilet, shower and little kitchenette. So here we go. I'm just going to take you inside. Let's have a door. This is the bathroom side here. And I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see. As you can see, what we have in here is a really well kitted out toilet. It is a composting toilet. so. There are a few rules on how to use it to make sure that you don't end up in a really smelly room. You've got a sink, uh, and probably the best thing all is this natural rain shower, which is, it's really, really nice. It's done, it's been fitted out well, and to be fair, there's probably enough for two people to stand in there if you really, really wanted to. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. And I'll shut the door onto this here, and on the other side, we have the kitchenette. This is accessed by a ramp and you get up here and we have tea and coffee making facilities and we have a touring hob and a sink. Now one thing to notice if you are uh, 
thinking of staying here is there's no fridge. There is a call box on this side and uh, the owners were quite kind enough to give us a uh, an ice block because we didn't really forward plan about that but just something to note if you ever want to stay here just think about your cold food. Now everything is serviced as you can see there is lighting everywhere so there is a a solar panel located outside and there is also a gas bottle just down the side and mains fed water so to be honest with you you're not really wanting for anything when you get here you do also get a nice seating area outside now the weather's just started to break through it is kind of eight o'clock in the morning and in the grounds of your area as well an amazing fire pit <laughs> so that is a quick whistle stop uh, review of our accommodation for the next three nights well two nights now we've stayed here one night already and we're about to get a cup of tea get breakfast and get dressed and get ready to head over to Hempstead Jairfield for the parkrun. Uh, we're going to take you along and Nick, how are you feeling? Good night's sleep? Fantastic night's sleep. Yeah, let's get some parkrun on our legs. Whoa! Let's get ready for parkrun. Let's go. So here we are at Henstridge Airfield and uh, the sun's just starting to creep out. Um, so this is a mainly off-road route to starting on the airfield base um, and I've got some records here for you. The women's uh, course record is at 19.33 and the men's course record is 15.44 so yeah not a bad, not a bad route. Uh, it is largely kind of off-road which is, which is good, make for an interesting race. Uh, and yeah, this is our first time here, so we thought we'd take you around. If you'll ever look at it doing a little bit of parkrun tourism, then uh, this one does look a pretty fat, flat and fast route, so we'll see how it works out. And um, yeah, we'll report back at the end to see how we got on. So let's get on and get this parkrun done.
Okay, so that is Henstridge Airfield park run done. Uh, had a little bit of a camera malfunction, so I only managed to capture the first six minutes of the um, the run. Then my SD card failed, and sadly, I didn't get any other footage. So apologies about that, but I'll put a route on uh, from Relive so you can see the route, and hopefully the six minutes that I have got is enough to, to show you what it's like. But it's mainly off-road. Well, it's all off-road apart from the start and finish. Um, and actually, quite a tough route. Uh, I shot off way, way too early six and a half minute mile in for the first sort of half a mile so that was a bit of a mistake uh paid for it at the end um got round in just shy of 20 well just over 27 minutes which is five minutes off my park run pb but hey it wasn't about times today it was just about having a bit of fun and getting around and doing a bit of park run tourism so okay so we are back from uh park run just chucking into some food and just a quick touch on how we did we we, we, we actually quite enjoy it, didn't we? I loved it, it was great. Yeah, it was a good run, 90% um, off off road, so we didn't know the course, so, uh, but overall I think we were quite impressed. I think it was really well marshalled. Uh, the marshals did a really good um, sort of welcome to new runners, which, which, which was quite impressive. Um, and overall, yeah, very, very good ran event. One that if we're down in Somerset, we'll definitely do again. Uh, we're just tucking into some lunch and the rest of the weekend is filled with sightseeing and tourism, which we will uh, we'll bring you along for the trip. Mm -hmm.